Greetings. What I'm going to do in this video is replace an existing uh, lesson in a Moodle website that's running Moodle 2.4.2, I believe. And this course has already been laid out. These are all SCORM activities, so a lot of them are just lessons and uh, exams and quizzes, review notes, and so on and so forth. They're all linked, so they, they go sequentially. But one of the segments here, segment four, um, the instructor wants to trim it down and modify some of the slides, change some of the audio recordings. So he did that in Captivate 7 and then published it as a zip file, a SCORM zip file with you know the same settings that were in all of these uh, SCORM packages. So it's going to be pretty simple because we're not going to add anything. We don't have to change any configuration settings on the course. And most importantly, we don't have to worry about students that have already completed, let's say, uh, lesson 4.1. They're not going to lose their status or won't become unchecked. So they'll, they'll be able to continue on with the course if they haven't already finished. So in this example, make sure you turn on editing. And in this version of Moodle and the template that we're using, the turn on editing button is up here in the right hand corner. The turn on and off buttons up there so yours may be different so let me go down to the lesson and I'm not actually going to overwrite it um, because it's not necessary to be able to uh, at least show you how this is going to be done so once it's the uh, editing is on go down to the lesson or the, the squirm uh, segment that you want to replace and we'll bring the uh, click the little gear which allows you to update and modify a lot of the parameters in addition to replacing the SCORM package itself. So, like I said, none of this stuff, this has all been pre-configured and it works fine, so we don't need to modify anything in here whatsoever. You know, the, the conditions to access it, who's completed it, blah, this is all fine. We don't need to touch this at all. The only thing we're going to do is replace the, the lesson plan, which is to the students just looks like a... Um, PowerPoint presentation that's run in Adobe Flash. So we'll click on um, click on choose a file. Right now it's telling you that it's using, uh, this is the last thing, this is currently what it's using, What the last thing that you installed is right here. So an important thing to note is if you modify the same item in Captivate but you rename it something different than the Moodle website is already using, you won't be prompted to overwrite the existing SCORM package here, um, which, in, which is no big deal. Then you can just continue. Once you've uploaded it, you can just continue and go down here and make sure you click Save before you do anything. So I'm going to load one that is named identical, and you should be able to see the little warning that's going to, or the little notification that comes up. Four point zero. So click open, and it's let me know it's going to upload, and I'll go upload here. Now I'm using Google Chrome. Um, you might be using Safari, uh, Firefox. I don't know, but um, at least in this version of Chrome, running on Windows Seven, uh, it gives you a progress window here, and this obviously is a pretty big Scorum zip package. So it's going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the recording and come back when it's uh, uploaded and ready to display another window. Okay, well that took a few minutes. That was a pretty big file. Uh, but once it uploaded, you'll notice you get this dialog box. It says, a file with a name has already been attached. That means, hey, I got something that's named you know, exactly the same here. What do you want to do in this circumstance? I always click overwrite. I never re I don't know rename to segment two. To me, that's confusing because I don't know is it going to use one and this new one that it renames two? I don't know. So I just always overwrite it because there's really no need to have two SCORM packages in there, at least in our circumstance. So uh, now the only once you click overwrite, it's going to overwrite it, and the dialog box is going to pop away. Um, I'm just going to click cancel on this one, 
because I don't really need to do this. And you'd come back to this screen right here. And all you need to do is go back down to here and click Save and Return to Course. And that will lock in that new SCORM zip file that you uh, loaded to the website. You can always click Save and Display just to make sure that it works. But, you know, if you're paying attention and being methodical, you should be okay. But it's always a good, to, you know, uh, a good option to check it and make sure. It's also a good option to do this when the site is offline or at a time when there are no students online that might be using this specific uh, you know, lesson 4.0. So that, that could cause some problems. So, all right, so I'm going to click cancel. We'll get out of here. And we would just continue to do the same thing um, as, you know, we did in 4.0. I just click on the gear. Um, it'll, it'll come up. Give you all the parameters for this specific SCORM lesson or activity. Choose a file, navigate to the folder where you have um, your your published you know, zip SCORM packages, and just make sure you upload. Sometimes this can be methodical, and I've uploaded the wrong number into something, and you know you got two segment 4.0s, and then the links don't work, and it's it can be a nightmare. So you have to be slow and methodical and pay attention because the repetition can uh, get you screwed up. So. All right, so we're not going to do anything here. We're going to click out of there, and I'm going to go down here and cancel out. So, All right, well, that is the end of this little video. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.